The auto industry has given us some incredible machines over the years, but not every car is a masterpiece of engineering. Some vehicles barely make it past their warranty period before giving up completely. Today, we're counting down the absolute worst offenders, cars that are likely to leave you stranded before hitting 60,000 miles. The Fiat 500L kicked off our list at number 30, proving that being cute doesn't make you reliable. This larger version of the Classic 500 suffered from chronic transmission failures, particularly in its dual-clutch system. Owners reported complete transmission replacements, often costing upwards of $7,000. The electrical system was a maze of problems, with dashboard displays failing randomly and power systems shutting down without warning. The 1.4-liter multi-air engine proved particularly troublesome, with timing chain failures occurring as early as 40,000 miles. Next up at 29, the Chrysler 200 tried to compete with giants like the Honda Accord. Instead, it became a cautionary tale of what happens when manufacturers rush production. The nine-speed automatic transmission would hesitate, jerk, and sometimes fail entirely. Engine stalling became so common that drivers learned to expect it, especially during cold starts. The suspension system would develop concerning noises by 30,000 miles, with control arm bushings wearing out prematurely. Electronic throttle control failures left many owners stranded, requiring expensive module replacements. The Buick Rendezvous lands at number 28. GM's attempt to blend SUV capability with minivan practicality created a vehicle that excelled at neither. Engine failures occurred early, with cooling system problems leading to catastrophic overheating. The intake manifold gaskets would fail regularly, leading to coolant leaks and engine damage. The transmission would slip and electrical gremlins would appear seemingly at random. Power steering pumps failed frequently, creating dangerous driving conditions. The air conditioning system was notorious for complete failure, often requiring full compressor replacement. At number 27, we find the Mitsubishi Lancer. While its evolution variant became a performance legend, the standard Lancer struggled with reliability. The CVT transmission was particularly problematic, often requiring replacement before 50,000 miles. Engine stalling and electronic failures became common place, turning this sedan into a mechanic's regular customer. The cooling system developed leaks early, leading to overheating issues. Control arm bushings wore out prematurely, creating unstable handling characteristics. The fuel pump would fail without warning, leaving drivers stranded miles from home. The Suzuki XL7 takes position 26. This SUV proved that affordability sometimes comes at a steep long-term cost. Engine failures were frequent, with timing chain tensioners failing catastrophically. When parts were needed, owners discovered the challenge of finding replacement components for a discontinued Suzuki model in North America. The transmission would slip severely by 45,000 miles, requiring complete rebuilds costing over $4,000. Fuel system problems plagued the vehicle, with fuel pumps failing and injectors clogging regularly. The Mercedes-Benz M-Class sits at number 25, showing that even luxury brands can produce unreliable vehicles. The air suspension would fail, leaving vehicles sagging on their wheels. The complex electrical system turned simple tasks into expensive repair jobs. Premium price tags didn't guarantee premium reliability. The Bluetech diesel engines developed serious emissions system failures, while gasoline variants suffered from timing chain issues. Transfer case failures were common in 4Matic models, leading to repair bills exceeding $6,000. Landing at 24, the Audi A6 combined beautiful design with frustrating reliability issues. Oil leaks became so common that owners would regularly check their parking spots for fresh stains. The 2.7T engine developed serious oil consumption problems, often requiring complete rebuilds. The electrical system seemed designed to confound mechanics with random warning lights and system failures. The timing belt service interval was critically short, and missing it meant certain engine destruction. Control module failures would disable everything from windows to the entire engine management system. The Volkswagen Passat takes spot 23. This supposed people's car became the people's problem, with engine issues ranging from timing chain failures to complete breakdowns. The high-pressure fuel pump would fail without warning, causing immediate stalling. Electrical gremlins would appear randomly, turning dashboard displays into Christmas trees of warning lights. The direct injection system would carbon foul intake valves, requiring expensive cleaning procedures every 30,000 miles. At number 22, the Ford Explorer's popularity couldn't save it from transmission woes. 
The transmission would fail catastrophically, often before 60,000 miles. The suspension would fail prematurely, creating dangerous driving conditions. Electrical problems would surface unexpectedly, often affecting critical systems like power steering and brake sensors. Timing chain tensioners would fail, leading to expensive engine repairs. The rear differential would develop concerning noises early, requiring complete replacement. Rounding out this first segment at 21, the BMW 7 Series proved that flagship luxury doesn't guarantee reliability. Its complex electronics would fail in spectacular ways, from inoperable climate controls to complete system shutdowns. The transmission would slip and jerk, requiring expensive repairs that could exceed $5,000. The air suspension system would fail regularly, leaving the car sitting on its bump stops. Fuel injection problems plagued both V8 and V12 models, while the iDrive system would freeze or fail completely. Stay with us as we continue our countdown of the most unreliable vehicles ever produced. These next ones get even worse, with some barely making it off the dealership lot before problems begin. The Kia Optima claims position 20, demonstrating how a seemingly reliable brand can produce a problematic vehicle. The 2.4L and 2.0T engines develop serious connecting rod bearing failures, often resulting in complete engine destruction before 60,000 miles. Metal debris would circulate through the oil system, causing cascade failures throughout the engine. The high pressure fuel pump would fail without warning, leading to immediate power loss. Multiple recalls addressed engine fire risks, but many vehicles still experienced catastrophic failures. The electronic throttle control would malfunction, causing dangerous hesitation during acceleration. At number 19, the Nissan Sentra represents one of the most disappointing reliability declines in recent automotive history. The CVT transmission became notorious for shuddering, slipping, and complete failure, often before reaching 50,000 miles. Replacement costs exceeded $4,000, nearly half the car's used value. The cooling system developed leaks at multiple points, leading to frequent overheating. Engine mounts would deteriorate rapidly, causing excessive vibration and potential transmission damage. The electrical system suffered from numerous issues, including failed body control modules and erratic sensor readings. The Volkswagen New Beetle lands at 18, proving that nostalgic design doesn't guarantee mechanical success. The 1.8 turbo engine suffered from oil sludge buildup, leading to catastrophic failure if not meticulously maintained. Timing belt failures were common, especially when owners missed the crucial 60,000-mile replacement interval. The automatic transmission would develop harsh shifting patterns before failing completely. Window regulators broke with alarming frequency, and the electrical system seemed designed to frustrate even experienced mechanics. Position 17 belongs to the Mazda RX-8, a sports car that unfortunately proved too complex for its own good. The Renesis rotary engine required precise maintenance and frequently failed due to apex seal wear. Oil consumption became excessive, often requiring a quart every 1,000 miles. Engine flooding was common during cold starts, leading to costly starter motor replacements. The catalytic converter would fail prematurely due to unburned fuel, while ignition coils required frequent replacement. The manual transmission synchros would wear prematurely, creating difficult shifting conditions. The Chrysler PT Cruiser cruises into number 16, showing how retro styling masks serious mechanical deficiencies. The 2.4-liter engine developed chronic head gasket failures, often leading to coolant contamination in the oil. Timing belt failures were catastrophic, and the water pump's location made preventive maintenance extremely expensive. The power steering system would develop leaks at multiple points, creating dangerous driving conditions. Electrical problems plagued the vehicle, with the BCM failing regularly and causing multiple system malfunctions. At 15, the Smart 4 2 proves that small cars can create big problems. The automated manual transmission would fail prematurely, creating jerky shifting that eventually led to complete failure. The three-cylinder engine developed serious vibration issues, often breaking motor mounts. The cooling system was inadequate, leading to frequent overheating in warm weather. Fuel system problems were common, with high-pressure pumps failing and injectors clogging regularly. The electronic stability control would malfunction, creating dangerous handling characteristics. The Mini Cooper takes spot 14, demonstrating that BMW ownership couldn't prevent serious reliability issues. The timing chain tensioner would fail catastrophically, often requiring complete engine replacement. Oil consumption became excessive in the turbocharged models, sometimes requiring a quart every 1,000 miles. The high-pressure fuel pump would fail without warning, leaving drivers stranded. Power steering pumps developed leaks, while the electric power steering system would fail completely. 
The automatic transmission suffered from premature clutch wear and electronic control unit failures. At number 13, the Ford Fiesta's power shift dual clutch transmission became legendary for all the wrong reasons. The transmission would shudder, slip, and fail completely, often requiring multiple replacements under warranty. The clutch pack would wear prematurely, creating dangerous hesitation during acceleration. Transmission control modules failed regularly, leading to complete loss of gear selection. The engine timing belt system proved problematic, while purge valves failed frequently, causing stalling issues. The Chevrolet Aveo slides into position 12, showing how budget pricing often means budget engineering. The timing belt would fail catastrophically if not replaced early, leading to complete engine destruction. The cooling system developed multiple leak points, causing frequent overheating. The automatic transmission would fail prematurely, often before 60,000 miles. Electronic throttle bodies failed regularly, creating dangerous stalling conditions. The suspension system wore out quickly, making the car unsafe at highway speeds. Finally, at number 11, the Jaguar X-Type demonstrates how platform sharing can go wrong. Built on a modified Ford Mondeo platform, it suffered from expensive AWD system failures. The timing chain tensioners would fail without warning, requiring costly engine repairs. The electrical system was plagued with issues from failed window regulators to complete ECU failures. The automatic transmission developed harsh shifting patterns before failing completely. Cooling system problems were common, with plastic components failing regularly under normal use. Stay tuned for our final segment, where we'll reveal the 10 most unreliable cars ever produced. Vehicles so problematic, they make these examples look almost reliable in comparison. The Fiat 500 claims the number 10 spot, proving that style doesn't equal substance. The multi-air engine system would fail, often requiring complete head replacement at costs exceeding $4,000. Timing chain tensioners wore prematurely, causing chain skip and valve damage. The manual transmission suffered from synchro failures as early as 30,000 miles, while the automated manual transmission developed jerky shifting patterns before complete failure. The electrical system was particularly troublesome, with body control modules failing regularly and causing multiple systems to malfunction simultaneously. At number 9, the Dodge Intrepid's infamous 2.7-liter engine earned its reputation as one of the worst ever produced. Oil sludge would build up rapidly, blocking crucial oil passages and leading to complete engine seizure. The oil pump would fail without warning, causing immediate engine destruction. The timing chain system proved problematic, with guides breaking and causing catastrophic engine damage. Water pump failures were common, often leading to overheating before drivers could react. The transmission would develop harsh shifting patterns before failing completely, usually around 50,000 miles. The Pontiac Aztec rolls into position 8, demonstrating how poor engineering can match equally poor design. The intake manifold gaskets would fail regularly, causing coolant leaks and eventual engine damage. The complex body structure led to multiple water leak points, creating electrical system failures and interior mold issues. The transmission cooler lines would rust through, causing sudden transmission failure. Head gasket failures became common, especially in cold climates. The electrical system seemed designed to fail, with multiple modules requiring replacement throughout the vehicle's short life. Lucky number seven belongs to the Chevrolet Corvair, proving that innovation without proper testing leads to disaster. The air-cooled engine would overheat regularly, leading to cylinder head warpage and valve failures. Oil leaks were so common that owners kept cardboard under their parked cars. The swing axle rear suspension created dangerous handling characteristics, especially during emergency maneuvers. The heating system would leak carbon monoxide into the cabin, while the fan belt would fail regularly, leading to immediate overheating. The Chrysler Sebring secures position six with a remarkable array of problems. The 2.7 liter engine suffered from the same oil sludge issues as the Intrepid, but added timing chain failures to the mix. The valve stems would wear prematurely, causing significant power loss and eventual failure. Water leaks through the windshield would destroy the electronic control modules mounted beneath. The automatic transmission would fail without warning, often before 60,000 miles. The power steering system developed multiple leak points, creating dangerous driving conditions. At number five, the Cadillac Cimarron represents badge engineering at its worst. The engine, essentially a dressed up Cavalier power plant, suffered from head gasket failures and timing chain issues. The automatic transmission would develop harsh shifting patterns before failing completely. The electrical system proved particularly troublesome, with multiple modules failing regularly. The premium interior materials degraded rapidly, while the suspension system wore out prematurely, creating unstable handling characteristics. 
The AMC Gremlin claims spot four, showing how cost-cutting measures can create long-term reliability nightmares. The straight six engine suffered from chronic cooling system failures, leading to warped heads and blown head gaskets. The carburetor would fail regularly, causing stalling and poor performance. The unibody structure would rust severely, especially around the rear suspension mounting points. The electrical system was primitive yet still managed to fail regularly, with alternators and voltage regulators being particularly problematic. The infamous Ford Pinto takes position three, remembered not just for its safety issues, but also its mechanical failures. Beyond the notorious fuel tank design, the engine suffered from chronic overheating issues and timing gear failures. The carburetor would flood regularly, creating hard starting conditions and poor performance. The transmission would fail prematurely, often requiring complete replacement before 50,000 miles. The suspension system wore out quickly, creating dangerous handling characteristics. At number two, the Yugo GV represents the perfect storm of poor design and worse execution. The engine timing belt would fail catastrophically, often before the recommended replacement interval. The carbureted engine would flood regularly, while the electrical system seemed designed by someone who'd only heard about electricity in theory. The manual transmission synchros would fail early, creating grinding gear changes. The interior would literally fall apart while driving, with dashboard pieces dropping into passengers' laps. Finally, claiming the crown of unreliability at number one, the Chevrolet Vega stands as a testament to how not to build a car. The aluminum engine block would distort under normal operating temperatures, causing head gasket failures and excessive oil consumption. The cooling system was inadequate from the factory, leading to chronic overheating issues. The body would rust through within two years, often starting around the fender wells and spreading rapidly. The Fisher body build quality was so poor that panels wouldn't align properly from the factory. The transmission would fail regularly, while the suspension system created dangerous handling characteristics when worn, which happened quickly. These vehicles serve as reminders that innovative design must be balanced with proper engineering and testing. While some manufacturers learned from these failures, others continued to produce unreliable vehicles, proving that history often repeats itself in the automotive industry.